Hello. Ah, are you ready for your cardio today? I know you're probably not. I'm going on the bike today. That's how I'm rolling. I don't know how you're rolling, but this is how I'm rolling. So I just did my workout today. I don't know what order you're doing this in, but my workout today was back. So this is my cardio. So the idea of doing it on the bike, if you don't have a bike, you don't need to worry. You can do whatever you want, however you want to do it. But the idea of doing it on the bike is you're going to get your heart rate into that fat burning zone and you're going to push yourself for 20 minutes. That's it. No more, no less. 20 minutes. So I'm going to start the timer and we are going to get going. So find a pace that works for you. Find a pace that pushes you. And lock it down. Get your head in the game. How is your day been? Are you doing this in the morning? Are you doing this in the evening? Oh, that workout was tough, right? If you're following this on from the back workout that I did, it was tough. If you're doing this on a different day, don't worry about it. You might have already done that back workout or you might have done another one. But whatever you're doing, whether you're skipping with me, you're on your elliptical, you're on your rowers, just try and maintain that pace. her curves are just so well proportioned for her body. It's just genetics and it's just, it's not an insecurity as such. It's, it's always there. We all have it. We all aspire to be something else or someone else or, but it takes a long time for you to just get out of your head and just realise that you don't have to do that. There's only one of you, and you are made so unique for a reason. Your gifts, whatever they are, are were given to you for a reason. You might be one of those people that's like, I haven't got any gifts, I've got You do, you definitely do. You might not have found what your gift is yet, but there'll be something you're brilliant at, whether it's <laughs> knitting, or painting, or something. Maybe you haven't found that gift yet. Maybe there's something inside of you and you're like, God, I wish I could dance because I think I'd be quite good at that. And you just haven't taken the leap to do it. Comparing yourself is doing yourself an injustice. Be, a, be inspired, yes. Be inspired by other people. Be, be educated. That's one of the things I always say to myself. Whenever I'm feeling in a bit of a funk and I'm in my Instagram and I'm just like, oh, funk, 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 I always think, what can I take from this to inspire me? Not to compare, but to inspire. So for example, if there's somebody, you know, with an amazing ass, okay, I need to up my squats, let's do it, to make my ass feel better which will make me feel better. Because the only way to improve anything is to work on it. And that's with everything. Whether it's with schoolwork, getting better at craft, anything. Anything you want to get better at, cutting out sugar out your tea. It's all about practice and it's all about commitment and it's all about just sticking to it. So what I want you to do is next time you feel that way, Think about what you can learn from that situation and adapt it to bring it into your life to improve you. Not to compare yourself, but to, com to, to improve your situation that will make you feel better. If you want to be a bit leaner, then let's start working on your diet. Let's start getting your workout in every day. That's oh, hot. Let's take some. So, what I would do is if you're following anything 
or if there's anything in your life that's negative, I would unfollow it immediately. Don't look at it. Untag it, unfollow it. Don't look at it. Delete the number. Whatever you've got to do. Get back in your head. Get back in your circle. Get back in your focus. And your focus is you. Not things that don't make you feel good. If there are things that aren't making you feel good, why are you allowing them to come into your life? What is that achieving for you? Huh? What is looking at somebody and comparing yourself to them doing for you? Take inspiration, take power in thinking, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Don't compare yourself. Never compare yourself to anybody. Because the gifts that they have are not the gifts that you have. The joy that you have is not the joy that they have. Everyone carries their own in, carries their own darkness, their own insecurities. And if they come across like they've got all their shit together, they're lying. Believe me, they're lying. Because I've spent many, many years smiling for the camera and it was all very different. So, take comfort in the knowledge that it's not real. Just like when you watch a film and they've got, you know, special effects. You know it's there, but it's not real. Somebody tells you, this is easy to do and it looks impossible. If it seems impossible, it probably is impossible. It's too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. So be inspired by it, but don't compare yourself to it. On the same token, I want you to reinforce all the good things about you every day. And don't tell me there aren't any, because there are. There's a thousand good things about you. It's funny how we can say to other people how amazing they are, but how many times have you actually turned that on yourself and told yourself? You've got a good heart, you're creative. Turn it around and actually giving yourself some self love. So, when you're next in the mirror, I want you to look at yourself and I want you to give yourself some self love and tell yourself and be proud of all the things you are. Stop trying to pretend they're not there. If somebody says you're pretty, you're pretty. That's okay, you're allowed to be. Someone says you're beautiful. You're beautiful, that's okay. You don't have to be like, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. You might, you might not think it, but you can be. You're allowed to have compliments. You're allowed to see the good in you. You're allowed to take that and hold it close to you every day and use that to power you forward and use it to strengthen you. Own it. Spend every day walking around like you're wearing an imaginary crown on your head. Because you are a queen. And don't forget that. Don't forget that you are a queen of your life, of your existence. Nobody, anywhere, tells you that you are less than anything. Nobody. Don't let anybody tell you that you cannot do whatever it is you want to do. Don't compare yourself to a single person because you are doing yourself an injustice and you will look back at 60 years old and wonder what was I doing? What did I do? How many of you look at pictures 10 years ago or five years ago and see yourself and go, God, I was so skinny back then. But all I used to think about back then is how fat I was and how insecure I was. And I'd give anything to go back there now. Don't spend the next 10 years doing that. Don't spend the next 10 years looking back at this day or looking back at this year and saying, I spent all that time worrying about how I looked or, and it was, I was fine. I just needed to live. I just needed to embrace what I, was, what I had. I just need to embrace what I got. Do you understand? Do you get it? It's so easy to get lost in the noise. Focus on you. Focus on all the good things that you are, and there are thousands of them. Focus on all the good things you have in your life, 
and there are thousands of them. You just need to look harder, be more grateful, but don't ever compare yourself. Better yourself, yes. Be inspired, yes. But don't compare. You are going to look back and feel like you gave yourself a really disservice. And if you're one of those people that get all the time, say, oh, I don't like posting my picture. I don't like it because I'm embarrassed. What are you embarrassed about? What are you embarrassed about? Are you embarrassed that that's you? This is me. This is who I am. Like, and what? What are you gonna say? This is who I am. And I'm a, an amazing person. That's it. I don't care how big you are, how skinny you are, how tall you are, how many freckles you've got, what colour hair you've got. I don't care. This is me. This is where I'm at. And I'm proud of my body and I'm proud of who I am. I'm either a good mum or a doctor or a chef or whatever you do for your life. You're proud of that, right? So why wouldn't you be proud of posting a picture of yourself? Posting a picture of your body? Posting a picture of your high five? Posting a picture of your face? That is you. That's what God gave you. And there's nobody else like it. And if anybody's got something to say about it, then they can jog on. And what? I've been pulled apart my whole life. With nobody actually asking any questions, just assuming X, Y, and Z. Nobody understanding what I went through, nothing. You just come online, pull you apart. I've done that, I've been there, it's not nice. I get it. But I'll tell you what you do do. You learn to understand that it's just noise. And these people mean nothing. They have no value on who you are as a person. So if you post in the workout family Facebook, there is not a single person in there who isn't on your side. There isn't a single person in there who doesn't want to see you win. Which is why I say you need to be around people, around Instagrams, around social media that pushes you, not hinders you, not makes you feel inadequate, not makes you feel like if you're not dressed a certain way, you don't fit in. It's all BS. All that, it's BS, honestly. And some of the richest people I know, some of the most famous people I know, are the most unhappiest people I've ever met in my life. Believe me, they are so miserable and so unhappy. Money is great, power is great, being the boss is great. But let me tell you, money only brings you opportunity. If you get injured, it gets you a better hospital. If you get, if you write your car off, you can buy a car straight away. Like all that, it gives you security, right? Security doesn't change the person. Don't let them fake, don't let them get in your head. Whoever you're being judged by, or judging, or wanting to be, I can guarantee you, if you met them in real life and you spent six months with them or even six weeks with them, they would be not as high as you thought. They always say never meet your idols, right? Because it's what you make in your mind. It's what you've made that person to be in your mind, not what they actually are. So those Instagrammers with the perfect body and the perfect smile and the perfect teeth and the perfect everything. A little bit of genetics, okay? A little bit of genes, okay? You don't know them. They might have external struggles that you don't even realise. Just like you. And you're comparing yourself and wanting to be that person. And their life might be ten times worse than yours. And you've lost all that energy on that person. Instead of putting that energy into you, um, you glow different when you give yourself love. You look different when you give yourself love. You wanna glow up? Get it in, do it internally. Get the internal stuff going on. Look inside you, handle those demons, ask yourself why you feel you need to do this, or ask yourself why you feel you're doing that, or ask yourself why you're feeling that way. And if it's coming from an external source, Cut it off. It's not doing you any favours. Cut it off.
Get it out of your circle. Create your peace and do you. Until things come into your circle that help you or improve you or heighten you, what are you putting it in that circle for? What good is it doing? It's draining you. And you don't have to do that. You have one life. Do not look back at this life. And look back at pictures and go, God, I was really miserable there. Or I thought I was fat there, but I'm clearly not. Don't regret. Love your body. Put the work in. Enjoy your workouts every day. Eat some good food. And stop stressing about trying to be something that you're not. Because you are everything you need to be. Everything. From your stretch marks, to your boobs, to your ass, to your cellulite. It's exactly the way you're supposed to be. And you know when we all pass away, we all go in the same place. So stop stressing about it. Because you'll spend years and years and years trying to perfect something that might never ever change because that's who you are. You need to accept it first and then just work on it. But don't hate it. Don't hate it. Don't compare yourself. Just own it. This is me. This is who I am. And I love my body. It's given me a child. It's got me to work every day. It's made me a good friend, daughter, mother, grandma. It lets me jump, swim, laugh, get up every morning. Stop doing yourself an injustice. Stop comparing yourself to others. Stop hiding yourself away. Listen to me. Stop it. If this message isn't for you, don't worry about it. But I'm pretty sure some of you out there will need to hear this today. Because I get messages about it all the time and I understand it more than anybody. Believe me, I understand this message more than anyone will ever understand it. I've stepped into shoes that felt like they were ten times bigger than mine. I've tried to be something that I wasn't for a long time. And it's only the last four years that I just thought, fuck it, I'm just going to do me. I need to do me, otherwise I'm going to lose my mind. And the minute you start to just accept yourself and just realise that you've got you regardless and you are enough, things are going to get so much better for you. Because you are going to post those pictures unapologetically. You are going to laugh. You are going to enjoy every minute. You are going to look at your body differently. And you are going to glow differently. And that's what I want for you. I want all that for you. There are people watching you on your Instagram who are inspired by you. Who are doing what you're doing to somebody else on their Instagram. And you'll say, no, 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 there isn't. There is. They might not like stuff, but they're lurking. And they're watching. And believe me, they're looking at you and they're wishing they had what you had. Just like I do with Teresa. There's loads of times I wish I had more ass, more biceps, more back. Less, lo less long legs so I didn't look so lanky. Can't help it, that's how I was made. Accept it. It's done. I can improve it. And I do. And I try every day. But I'm not going to beat my body up about it or beat myself up about it trying to compare myself and be somebody I'm not because I'll never be that person ever you've got two minutes so from this day on you're going to wake up in the morning today's going to be a good day go through all the things that you're grateful for when you're brushing your teeth tell yourself five things that you love about yourself Every day, they have to be five different things, not the same. Even if they're tiny, I love the way my nails grow. Good, you should do, because they're yours. And that's part of all your history. I look at my hands and I see, I look at my body and I see my dad. My dad runs through my body. My mum runs through my sister. From head to toe, there are parts of her that I look at and I can see my mum instantly. And it's amazing. You were given that. You are a makeup of all those people that loved you. And the people that came before that. Don't do them an injustice. You're a miracle. Act like it. 
You're a queen. You're a king. Act like it. Stand tall. Own it. And go. Wear the dress. Wear the shoes. Wear the smile. Own it. Don't be ashamed to be confident. Don't be ashamed to love yourself. You glow differently, I promise. Ten minutes. You enjoy them. I hope you think that they are just sending you on your day with a bit of a really positive mindset because that's what they're supposed to do. Some are emotional, some are factual, some are just getting your mind back on it. It's just going to be lots of different things. If you have a topic you want to talk about, if you drop me a email at myworkout at gmail.com or the Workout Family Facebook group or the Workout Official Instagram, I'll be right there and I'll add it to the list. Do you, okay? Okay. <laughs>